Hello there folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to Food and Drink Reviews here on my channel where today we have yet another beverage to look at, yes indeed um, a few videos back we um, actually looked at a few of these a few different varieties and um, you may remember me saying that I didn't rate them very highly uh, but uh, hey ho, we've got another one to look at uh, this is the... Uh, Swizzles Drumstick uh, Raspberry Flavoured Squash. So this is based on the original Raspberry and Milk Flavoured Drumstick Sweets. Well, I believe they were origin originally Lollipops uh, Drumstick. And then, of course, you had the Long Chew Bars. And I believe you can get the... Um, they look a bit like Chew it or Starburst, like little cube-shaped... Uh, uh, candies in a, a oblong a rectangular a cuboid packaging uh, but uh, yes here we uh, this is the uh, the squash it's meant to represent that candy drumstick um, I'm not too sure what to uh, what to expect really I'm not expecting much. Uh, I have been disappointed by all the other Swizzles um, squashes that we've looked at in the past. Uh, I think the nicest one, oh God, there was one. I think it might have been the, uh, it was rather the, re the Sour Apple Refresher or the uh, Bubblegum Drumstick Squashes. I remember there was one of them that I did actually quite like, uh, but the rest of them were a little bit disappointing. Anyway, let's crack on. So that's the front of the bottle. And I'll just turn it round. Let you have a look at the back while I look at the front with my magnifying glass. Swizzles loved since 1928. Drumstick raspberry squash. Contains real fruit. Uh, no artificial colours or flavours and no added sugar. No added sugar. Apple and raspberry squash with sweeteners. Contains naturally occurring sugars. Uh, it's fat free, which is good. Uh, There's only 0 0.5 grams of sugar. Uh doesn't contain fiber uh, suggested dilution one part squash with four parts water if for toddlers add extra water natural oils in this product may be visible on the neck of the bottle natural separation may occur shake well before use one liter contains 20 servings right, I'll do that now there we go. I should have done that before I started, shouldn't I? Uh, uh, storage. For best taste, keep cool and out of direct sunlight. For best before, see the neck of the bottle. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, yes, here it is. November 2023. So that's fine. It's only April. This is a one litre bottle. This is suitable for vegetarians and vegans. Swizzles and Drumstick are registered trademarks of Swizzles Matlow Limited. Uh, the cap can be recycled. Well, oh, and the bottle can, I should imagine. Plastic. Right, that's it then. That's all there is to uh, have a look at. In fact, um, I'm going to put this in there for now. So, bring on the water. So I have here, I have some water in a little plastic, uh, a little plastic tumbler. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just top it up with, uh, with squash. Um, that might not be the best idea. No. Okay. Right. I'll, uh, let's get the, let's take the top off then. Let's have a quick smell. Oh, 
Oh, now that smells like drumstick. Oh, yeah, the raspberry. That, oh, let's hope. Let's hope, shall we? Okay, let's pop that down there. What did I do with the lid? It's there. All right. There we go, pop that down there for now. I'll put that back in the refrigerator after I've done this video. Okay, so here it is then. Uh, pretty accurate, the camera's more or less got the colouring spot on. It's uh, like a very deep pink, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's red, I'd say it's a uh, very dark pink. Not necessarily fuchsia. Uh, Magenta, is that the right colour? Not too sure exactly on the uh, the, the shade, the uh, exact shade of pink, but it's a very dark pink colour. Um, what if you think? Because obviously raspberries are pink, aren't they? And that's what it's uh, based on. So, um, initial aroma, I can smell raspberry. Do you know actually enjoy what it smells like? It smells like cowpole. It does. It smells like um, medicine. I'm not. I'm not seriously. Seriously, like you're probably looking at me like, what are you on about? Seriously, it does. It smells like cowpole. But that's not a bad thing because I used to love cowpole as a kid. I used to love the taste of it. Anyway, speaking of taste, let's uh, let's get on with this, shall we? So, uh, apple and raspberry, it said. Now, that's a bit strange, because obviously, why would there be apple in it? Because the original drumstick is raspberry and milk flavour, not apple. Still, never mind, let's give it a go. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. That's nice. That that really does taste like drumstick. Oh, yeah. The raspberry flavour. Do you know something? That's possibly the most... That's possibly the most accurate one I think we've ever done. Oh yeah, there's the cow pole after taste. <laughs> oh, that's very good. I like that one. Oh yeah, that's that's really nice. That is. Uh, lovely sweetness to it. Uh, it's not overly sweet. Uh, but it's got a nice sweetness. I mean, you can have it as, you know, as strong or as weak as you like. You know, everyone's got their own. Everyone's got their own preferences. It's just I prefer. I prefer my uh, squash to be quite strong because I like the flavour. But now that is lovely. Uh, the raspberry. Let's have another sip. It's quite creamy as well. I, I forgot to check. I wonder if there's uh, traces of vanilla in that. I'm getting a slight taste of vanilla as well. Which would also be accurate because of, as I, as I said, the drumsticks uh, candies are um, raspberry and milk flavour. Well, the original ones are. I mean, there's that many different types of drumstick now. Uh, but the original ones were um, raspberry and milk. Uh, and, of course, drumstick squashes as well. Uh, they're possibly the, uh, the newest thing, aren't they? Well, the most recent drumstick product, I, I, I think. Uh, 
any drumstick squashes. In fact, no, I tell a lie, I think there's some marshmallows. I think they're the newest drumstick product. Uh, but drums, I remember when drumstick squashes first came out. Oh, I fell in love with them inst in, uh, instantaneously. Or instantly. But yeah, anyway, getting back to this. Very, very good. I'm really, I am impressed with this. I'm generally impressed with this one because it does taste like drumstick. Uh, the raspberry is a lovely flavour. As I said, I could, I'm getting hints of vanilla. I don't know whether there's any what, vanilla extract or anything in there. In the ingredients, I didn't really have a look. But I'm getting a hint of vanilla, which is also good. Can't taste the apple. Uh, so I'm not too sure why they'd put that in, but never mind. Uh, very nice sweetness. Very nice, easy, easy drink to consume, obviously. It's not sparkling. I think if it was sparkling, it might have spoilt it a bit. Uh, the fizz might have put f some people off, but now this is nice. It's nice and smooth and still. And all in all, a good review. So uh, I think I'm going to leave it there, folks, because um, I'm not going to start rambling just for the sake of it. And making the video uh, longer than it needs to be but I will just say once more it's a thumbs up for me this one that's it's brilliant really really accurate so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed leave a comment in the comment section let me know if you've tried any of these juices before uh, let me know if you've tried drumstick before. What's your favourite drumstick flavour or drumstick product? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, uh, thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the channel as well with your friends, relatives. And uh, you never know. There might be a video somewhere that appeals to them. And until the next video, whatever, or indeed whenever that may be, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to Blackpool for two days tomorrow, so uh, I, may, I may try and make uh, film some content up there to, to upload. We'll see. But until the next video, whatever, or indeed whenever that may be, it just remains for me to say, take care, stay safe, and as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy. And from here in the UK, it is currently quarter past three. I will bid you good afternoon. <laughs>